Michael. And my name is Sandra. And our book is Little Gold Star by Robert Sam Suchi. A Spanish American tale. In the beginning, um, there's this widow and, well, okay. In the beginning, there's a man came, char character named Teresa, and she lived with her father. And like a, and like a little like farm. They lived on a farm. And so they and so they lived right next to this widow. And then one day this widow came over and asked um, her father if they would marry each other. And her father said no. And then she began to weep. And so he finally agreed to say yes. And so the grandmother was like but the stepmother was like evil, like she was evil and she had two daughters. And then they, and so, like, their, the fa Teresa's father, the widow kept on bothering him, so he stayed and tended to his flock longer. In the middle, there was, um, he, her dad gave um, Teresa the, a place on the sheep, and he, he gave her a sheep, and um, the stepmother killed the sheep, and gave her the fleece and told her to wash the fle fleece in the river, and when she did, the, a fish um, took it, uh, swam away with it. And someone came up to them and said to her and said, um, if, if, if you go to that shack and take care of the um, man and the baby up there, I'll um, get the fleece, fleece back for you. And um, she, she did what she was told and she got the fleece back. And she also got a gold star on her head, her forehead. How does it end? It ends like like a little he forgot to know something, but in the middle, um, so she returned the fleece, and then the step when the stepmother touched it, it turned all muddy, and so there stepsisters tried to do what uh, Teresa did, but they couldn't accomplish, accomplish it. So what they got instead of a little gold star, one of them got llama ears, and another one got the devil horns. And so in the end, uh, there's a feast and dancing, and so there's this prince, and he, is dancing with Teresa, but then she goes home. She leaves. She leaves at 12 o'clock, and she no, she did not. She didn't leave anything. So they went back, and um, uh, they went back, and so he was looking for her everywhere, and he was looking like in all the islands, and so there was this cat. And this cat told him where she was, apparently. And so in order to marry Miguel, she had to do three impossible tasks. One was fill 10 bottles with chicken tears, bird tears. And another was 10 fill mattresses, fill 10 mattresses with, with bird feathers. And the last one was um, to make a feast for their whole family. And so she couldn't accomplish that. She knew she couldn't accomplish that, so she began to weep. And then the lady in blue came, and she filled 10 bottles with chicken tears, filled 10 mattresses with bird feathers, and then she made a fine food. She made a feast for a fine food. And so after her stepmother um, saw all the things she did, she agreed to let Teresa marry Miguel, and they lived.